This video explains how to calculate the skewness and kurtosis of a distribution in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and the first example is based on the data that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called xNorm. And we can print the first six values in this data object to the RStudio console by applying the head function, as you can see in line four of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that our data object xNorm is a vector object which contains randomly distributed numeric values. Now, if we want to draw a histogram of our data and a density plot on top of this histogram, we can apply the code that you can see in lines six and seven. So in these lines of code, I'm using the hist function, the lines function, and the density function to draw our plot. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right of our studio that our data is visualized in a histogram with a density plot on top of the histogram. And as you might already have noticed, our data is approximately normally distributed. However, we can check that by using the skewness and the kurtosis of our distribution. And to calculate these metrics, we have to install and load the moments package, as you can see in lines nine and 10 of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it, as you can see in line 10 of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the moments package, such as skewness and kurtosis. So in line 12 of the code, I'm applying the skewness function to our data object xNorm, and this returns the skewness of our data. So in this case, the skewness is almost zero. In line 14 of the code, I'm applying the kurtosis function to our data object, and as you can see, the kurtosis of our distribution is approximately three. And as you might know, the skewness and the kurtosis of a normal distribution are equal to zero and three. So for that reason, it seems to be likely that our data is normally distributed. So in the next example of this tutorial, I want to show you how to apply these two functions to different data. And for that reason, I'm creating another data object, as you can see in lines 16 and 17 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that another data object is appearing. And we can print the first six values of this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 18 of the code. And then you can see that our new data object is also a numeric vector containing random values. So let's apply the skewness and the kurtosis functions once again to these data, as you can see in lines 20 and in line 22 of the code. And then you can see that this time the skewness of our data is 38 and the kurtosis is 1712. So in this case, our data is definitely not normally distributed. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.